As one of the state's more experienced artists, Patricia Giles is also one of the most dedicated. In the past, she's gone to extremes to portray her passion for the Tasmanian wilderness, spending hours sitting in the snow or trekking through rugged terrain to find the most inspiring spot of isolated wilderness. While her age may have put a stop to some of those more active adventures, Giles isn't ready to put down her paintbrush any time soon. As Tamara Glumack reports, the artist is now inspired by the sketches from some of those wilderness treks and the memories. She's just turned 80, but Patricia Giles hasn't lost her passion for painting. I don't paint from photographs. I might take them and it'll be something just to remember something about it but if you paint directly from a photograph it's pretty flat. I need to be there and have the feeling of it all around me. There's nothing like it just being there. Being there is what's made this Hobart artist unique. She's spent many days and nights in remote Tasmanian wilderness braving the elements. I remember one trip way out the Gordon Road and we were pushing through the snow and uh, it didn't worry us to sit in the snow in those days. And the watercolour didn't always work terribly well in the snow, but we managed it. I've still got some of those paintings up on top of the mountain here, sitting in the snow. These days, going bush is a bit tough. Instead, inspiration comes from a stash of old sketches and paintings. I paint what I love, and not for the critics, which is a bit like Margaret Ollie, I think. Patricia Giles says she was born to paint. I can remember when I was very small, my mother keeping me quiet, very young with pencils and papers and things. Well, children have the same thing now, but back in those days, I don't know how much it happened, but it was... And I used to collect pretty things to put on my little box that I had and, and make arrangements, and I think that was the beginning. What followed was a career spanning decades. She's won the City of Hobart Art Prize, Tasmanian Museum and Art Gallery Awards and had more than 30 exhibitions across Australia. In 1983, this painting of Lake St Clair was bought by the Federal Government to hang at the University of London. This subject is something very dear to me. I'm very lucky because I'm painting what I like to paint. I'm not just painting what I know the people were like. I'm painting what I dearly love. At 80, Patricia Giles is still exhibiting. She's just held another exhibition with 92-year-old artist Max Angus in Hobart. With success have come sacrifices. I didn't get married and go to live in Canada, which I was offered, and because that had been a three-year with a merchant seaman who uh, it was a wonderful person, but I don't think he was very keen about me painting all the time. So I had to make up my mind about that and didn't go. I still wonder a bit what's happened to him. Patricia Giles still paints in the studio her father built in 1975 the year she became a full-time artist. She opened Hobart's first art gallery in Collins Street in 1960. A lot of people could exhibit with us, a lot of people came to see us. One of the marvellous things, we were right next to one of the first little espresso coffee places and I drank too much coffee all through the day. People would come in to see me and bring their cup of coffee and I would have had mine there too. Both coffee and art have come a long way since. I used to say when I had the gallery, this will, Tasmania will be the place for artists. Look at it. <laughs> it's marvellous now. 